what's up, everyone? It's your girl, Asia Diamond, and you are tuned into my new show, Let's Talk About It, on It's Only Entertainment. And I can't wait for you to see who I have with me today, so stay tuned. So he's here because he has a new film coming out, coming coming in theaters on May the third. Bolden, Let's talk about Bolden and talk about your role. Yeah, absolutely. So Bolden's about the birth of jazz music. Uh, this one guy who can be compared to like an R. Kelly, but like 150 years ago. So crazy, wild, talented, with a lot of extra baggage that comes along with it. Um, but Bolden, Bolden was schizophrenic. Uh, he was in that jail. He had like over a thousand kids. Um, but he really birthed the one American art form that is jazz music. Mm -hmm. um, I play George Bakay, I'm sort of a, a mirror of all his insecurities. Okay. So me being in the South 150 years ago, being light-skinned, having green eyes, being able to read music, being able to play his art is sort of like, um, really ca uh, like accentuates right. all of his um, insecurities and him and I do not like each other. So we're fighting <laughs> every single night, even though he recruits me to be in his band. Mm -hmm. So um, it's, it's, it's a riveting film. What was the experience like working on the set? Um, I think, you know, I, I try to be honest with everybody. Like, I think I'm more of a method actor is what that's called, mm -hmm. where like you start to live your life the way that your characters do. Okay. And so um, I just like being better everybody on set because my role, his character is um, a more, um, uh, uh, has a higher prowess in music mm -hmm. than all the other characters um, because he comes from an orchestra. Right. So a lot of my times in my downtime I spent doing extra work, studying my clarinet mm -hmm. or listening to my music while I slept. I learned all my instruments and stuff while making the film. And then um, just to kind of stick it to Buddy, I would work out every single day. Uh, everyone knows about my highway fit. Yeah, you want to talk about the highway fit Yeah, too. but I would work out and eat vegetables every day. So it seems like every single day I was mm -hmm. getting under people's skin because I was just trying to improve, <laughs> improve every single day, um, yeah. which actually made for great chemistry on the scene, mm -hmm. on the set. And you know, I talk about being like, this isn't personal. But right, this is doing my job. But this is how I, this is how right. I approach my, 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 my craft. So for those of you that have missed when I interviewed him on It's Only Entertainment IG Live, he had mentioned how he gets into character. You have to tell them how you got into character for Ziggy for Light It Up with Usher. You have to tell them that. <laughs> yeah, so the first thing that happened with me with Ziggy for Light It Up was Usher, Vanessa Williams, Forrest Whitaker, Rosario Dawson, and a lot of other, other great characters. Shout out to Frederick Starr, um, Dawson in the film. Uh, and Sarah Gilbert too. Um, we put them, uh, the whole cast. <laughs> the whole cast. Right. But um, the first thing that happened was I got dreads put into my head, and they basically took uh, glue and put glue all in my, my head, um, and then stuck dreads in my head. And I didn't take that off for like six, seven months. So my personality started to change just from knowing that. And then I kept a book with me 24 seven and I would draw with charcoal. Right, um, that's because my character mm -hmm. did. Um, and then uh, I didn't wear anything that was that was nice, like no nice clothes. I'm always in a suit, I'm not in a suit right. I didn't wear one for six months. So I really kind of had a stretch of uh, my character, my personality versus Ziggy's mm -hmm. personality. And, and, and you didn't even, I remember you saying you didn't even sleep in the bed. I didn't sleep in the bed, no, for the entire film I didn't sleep in the bed because Ziggy's sleeping in school, so. Yes. That was kind of like my preparation, and then we got the results that we got, so. Yes, sure. light it up, great movie. You're still my Ziggy. Everybody knows him from one on one, you will always be my Ziggy, I okay? love that. I love, I love Ziggy. So you're so Shout out to Chicago. We shout out yes. to Chicago. So. It was cold too, right? Uh, it was uh, minus 30 degrees for our shit. Stop that cold. You don't have weight, you don't use them. You don't take pills, you just wait. Like, no weight to go up there. Like, you have to watch it. Yeah, for sure. So, um, it's called Highway Fit. And it's really like my social health initiative. 
I'm trying to change the way that everybody sees like health, fitness, and nutrition. And I know that for me, I'm like, I'm lazy. So, I don't believe that. So no, but I am lazy. So I'm like, how do I figure out a way to make a workout work that's super lazy? Um, and I asked like, my doctor for help because I figured that he would know how to do it. Mm -hmm. And so we end up coming with this low intensity workout that's no weights, no gym, and no travel. Mm -hmm. So I could do it right here, you could do it at home, or even if you're watching this in the airport somewhere, right. you can do this anywhere. Um, and it's, um, you, can, you can do it anytime, anywhere, every day. It's uh, position endorsed, it's medically sound, and it's accessible for all. Yes. I'm going to try it. I always say I'm going to try it every time I see him do it. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get in there, I'm going to do it. And I'm like, bro, I'm about to go to it's the it's the cheat code to fitness because it's only ten minutes. You know, it's like it's like writing like, like yeah, like writing like reading cliff notes okay. for the longest book. It's like that for for fitness. Yeah, but that workout, y'all have to see that workout. I don't even think I can get through the shortest part. Yet. No, you can't because there's four different levels. I do you know varying levels depending on where I want to start that day. Okay. Our slogan is your road, your freedom. Mm -hmm. So the first level, like you can be four hundred pounds, you can be in a suit, you can be, you know, not really know that much about fitness and be able to do it the first day all the way through. I mean, the first person that I ever had was this lovely lady named Tiffany Carr. Um, she, you know, had a lot of um, things that were limiting her, which was she didn't have a lot of money for a trainer or whatever, and she got two kids and she has responsibilities as a parent. Yeah. I think I do that a lot. Okay. I like to ask questions. My favorite is Jasmine. Okay. But I'm classically trained. We should have had you in our, there's a lot of dancing. For everyone who doesn't know, this Jackie there's a lot of dancing yes. um, in the film. Um, shout out to uh, all the girls that were participating. Uh, 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 Vivian Nixon is one of my best friends. Mm -hmm. She's in the film. Oh, um, she's, she's, Debbie, she's Debbie Allen's daughter. Right. Yeah, and she's yeah. one of the lead dancers in the film. So. Nice. All right, so there's a lot of guys out here that want to be actors. What advice can you give our young male actors? Well, uh, it's 2019, 2020 now, <laughs> um, and uh, there's a difference between, you know, aggregating followers and putting things online and working and acting, you know, so uh, there's those tools that exist for just gaining popularity, and those all work and they're great, that's a real business now. Um, acting is, is, you know, is suffering, it's, it's theater training and it's a lot of hard work. And you know it's a thankless job. So um, you know, it, I say anybody who wants to be like an actor, like <laughs> you're gonna be poor. You know, and that's a different thing. Right. That's different than being somebody who is creating content mm -hmm. that is you know generating a lot of you know likes and views and stuff. So um, yeah, I mean, I'm theater trained, um, and I did a lot of push-ups um, <laughs> because my teacher, my acting teacher, every time I messed up, I did a lot of push-ups. Oh, no acting for me, honey. Tell me to do acting for the We are in trouble. So, unfortunately, I know he has to get ready to go because he's only here for a short period of time. So, let him know that they can follow you on social media. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, for everyone who's watching, um, I, I'm a part of a business that's called um, EPA. Yes! Oh, my God, I'm sorry. I'm it's, sorry. It stands for Elite Performance Medicine, and we transform suffering for all. So um, our products have uh, You're always ready. I love it. Yeah, they prevent injury. They stimulate performance. They manage discomfort, repair damage, restore youth, combat limitations, and enhance excellence. So this is uh, this one's reborn. It's for muscle and joint pain. So if you have any kind of like neck issues or back issues, or if you got a broken foot or something Ooh. like that, um, you can <laughs> use reborn and speed up the healing time. Really, about one third of the time. Um, this one's flight. This is for professional athletes. So all guys are watching on their athletes. Use this one. And then I have one more with me. This was a lure and it's for beauty. And it's an anti aging hydration oil. And it's amazing. It's the only thing that I use on my face. So everyone's yes. always like complimenting the fact that I have like yeah, pretty have nice, skin. Pretty nice skin. But you do. really, I have a lot of moles on my skin. This is for wrinkles or sunspots or age spots or psoriasis or eczema. Um, really, if you have any kind of surface imbalance on your face, this is better science, better medicine. So yes, yeah, so it's like found you use in a bottle. You had um, used it on your tooth, as the baby said, right? Yeah, so I told everybody, I, I went to the dentist, mm -hmm. uh, and the dentist took a screwdriver and a hammer and told me to take this tooth out. So it's gone now, it's still gone. Um, but when it got knocked out, he gave me about three weeks of hydrocodone prescription. Uh, and I just wanted to try this, so to make the guinea pig for all you guys. So I took a couple drops of this and put it 
inside my mouth, and pain went away. Five minutes, kind of couldn't believe it, uh, to be honest. And then swelling went down, and within like 30 hours, I was like all swollen, gone, no pain. It's really good to believe how well this thing worked, and it's all all Earth products. So everything on this, you can recognize the ingredients, um, and you can find it on uh, EPM Product. X.com. So EPM products with an X.com. We'll post the link at the bottom. Perfect. Awesome. Yes. I'm sorry. I forgot about the EPM because you have so much going on. I, I, I can't keep up. I'm sorry. I, I got some other things in the fire too, but they're all main computer size. So I got to make sure I, I to let it come to fruition first and then talk okay. about it. So we're going to talk about it when it comes, right? Yeah, for sure. It's all right. Something big. Said that. It's something big. For sure. I'll be back. Okay. Yeah, I heard that right. So yeah. you don't come back. It's our second interview. What do you mean? I've already come back. This is already. I'm already. Right. Like, I'm the boomerang in your life right now. Oh, guys, it's my boomerang. <laughs> All right. Let them know where they can find you on social media. Uh, you guys can find me on my website, uh, therobertrichard.com. What's great is all the highway fit exercises are on there. So, yes. um, and then there's also tools for learning about business, learning about acting. All that on my website. And then on all the handles, I'm the Robert Richard. So Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. So YouTube, Twitter? YouTube. You know, I'm not that way um, fancy on Twitter. I, I was back on Twitter like the other day, like yesterday. I mean, my Instagram right then goes to Twitter, but I haven't been on Twitter in so long. So. Yeah, I, I just never really, I didn't, I never got on social media until like about a year ago. So I kind of missed the whole Facebook, Twitter, yeah. Snapchat wave. And Instagram now, I just think that, you know, people are there mm -hmm. and they're, they're looking. And I'm running the, I do my highway fit workout every day there. So it's a great place to, you know, work out with 10,000 people at one time, and that's been really good for me. And uh, send me a song request if you like a certain song, um, I'll work out um, to it. You can follow along. Oh, I have a whole list. Okay, what do you like? Um, you uh, like what genre? Oh, I, mean, like, oh, I like R&B. R&B, that's yeah. Wednesday, it says hump day. Kind of makes sense. Oh, right? let it see, lose control. There you go, see? Yeah. So they got a designated day for each genre. Alright, so what time I have to be on to see this? Uh, you can, yeah, whatever time, you can just hit me up. I usually do them in the <laughs> afternoons, like evening times, usually. Okay. LA's um, but it doesn't matter, I mean, doesn't I can, okay. yeah, morning, like, and if you, if you, I post it live for 24 hours, so if you miss it, you can still just watch it and do it with me. Alright, so I'm going to watch every Wednesday, only on Wednesdays, until I hear my see lose control. Okay, lose control. Because the other song I'm going to play, I'm going to tell them to get off camera. So, it's your girl, Asia Diamond. I do want to thank y'all for tuning in. Robert Shaw, thank you so much for coming today. And we're out. Bye. Bless you, guys. I got to her house at 7.30, right? P.M. And the show starts at 10. Now, you know how, like, someone can serve you drinks and it tastes like juice? So, I was just, I, I had, like, probably, like, this five is really, drinks. This is, this is juice. No, this is wine. Because y'all, oh. you said you want to fix the camera. So, we're going to fix the camera. It's just wine. Okay? But look. But they...